Well, hello there. Welcome back to my free-to-play. It's been a while. Quite a long time, in fact. I think we're on about episode 9. Uh, reason why we're coming back? Well, I haven't played it in a while, and I felt like doing that. Secondly, I want to get my new card back. Uh, it's right near the end of the season, so uh, these ranks won't make much of a difference. But uh, with a bit of luck, maybe we might get an episode or two before the end of the season. So uh, we might be able to get a bit higher than before. Uh, I'm also looking forward to the new cards. Might be able to get some awesome new combos for the warrior. Uh, I've made a few changes to this deck since yeah. I last saw this it. Um, but on the whole, it's begin. pretty Victory much the same deck. Um, what is it? It's a hunter, so... Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Yeah, it's not so bad. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings, traveler. Right, here we go. Back to the free-to-play. So the changes that I made... Did I make any changes? I, don't, I, I think I might have... I can't remember. I can't remember. It's pretty much the same deck as last time. Uh, right, so Starving Buzzard on its own, perfect time to play me, Cruel Taskmaster. Time to coin out the Shield Master. It trades for the Panther quite nicely. He has to burn extra cards for it. And then on turn four, we can probably play the War Axe. We can War Axe and armor up, or we can kill a big minion if he sends out a big minion. It is a hunter, so we just need to be careful about, uh, about playing too many minions because we don't want to get dogged to death. Senjin, and along with that, I actually don't want to trade the Senjin, I want to get some more damage down on him, eh, we can trade it, I'll get the War Axe out, it's unlikely that he'll have an Ooze, he might have an Ooze, never know, I'm saving my Ooze for an Eagle, Thorn uh, Eagle Hornbow, uh, just in case he's uh, got a few secrets in his deck, which is Entirely plausible. Uh, get behind me. Five four G Bay bodyguard. If only we had the coin, that would be really, really good. Um, is there a way that we can enrage it? No, there isn't. Okay. So, is there another easy way of getting around this? I want to play Spiteful Smith Whirlwind next turn. So, can we take three to the face? We can, because we're going to be getting out of memory. So, uh, we'll, we'll sacrifice the 2-2. Two -two, and we'll, we'll hit that. And then we'll hit another three. I'm okay taking damage to the face, because I know that I have two shield blocks in this deck, and also I have armor up. So, meh. It's it's not actually too bad to uh, to take damage to the face, especially at these lower levels. Okay, so what's the best way of getting rid of that Tasman? Well, it's probably just the spiteful Smith, isn't it? So we spiteful Smith, whirlwind, and 
Let me kill that. And then against the 3 1. We'll run the 3 1 in because. Uh, it's. It's more dangerous if he duckies it because the dogs trade quicker. Like he has to get more cards out to kill a 2 2, or he has to trade more dogs. Um, so next turn we have. We have the Arcanite Reaper, super solid considering it's going to be doing 7 damage with the uh, uh, with this guy. Um, that Gorobashi Berserker actually armors up, actually gets really powerful. So yeah, we'll play the Gorobashi Berserker. Um, we won't bother executing that just in case he has something bigger. I want to keep the Spiteful Smith because it's a good tough minion and I want to be playing my Arcanite Reaper because that's going to be 14 damage that the Arcanite Reaper gives me. I mean we've almost got lethal next turn so... Turn 8 we're probably looking to Earthen Ring Farseer and Arcanite Reaper so play the Arcanite Reaper and then heal up the Gorobashi Berserker up to 6. Uh, sorry, up to uh, five. That's probably what we want to be doing. Okay, so it's gonna make it a three-six. <laughs> That's okay. We can we can deal with that. In fact, whirlwind for uh, that whirlwind's really really good actually. Um, yeah. So we're gonna be whirlwinding. Arcanite oh, Reaper, and uh, then, do we have lethal? 7 plus, yeah, we, we totally have lethal. <laughs> 8 from the Rush Reserve, 4 from the Spider for Smith, and then 7 from the Warhawks. A good start. That's a good, good start. Hopefully we can get to rank 20, because then I get my awesome back. Card backing, that's what we're looking for. That's where the motherload is. It's the prize. The big cheese, the aim, the goal. Garrosh versus Anduin. Ooh. The oh, it's rank 20. Victory Such high rank. Uh, going second, we'll probably drop the shield block, seeing as though he's going to be going pretty slowly, as most priests do. That gives us a nice curve. <laughs> Greetings. I would imagine he's going to pass. And we will pass. Okay, so we've got a lot of nice cards now. I think... Raging Wargun's pretty... Oh, he's just passing. Wow, okay. Uh, well, we'll play the Swampoos. He's not going to have any weapons. Uh, we can possibly coin out a uh, Corcoran Elite next turn. That would be really nice if he plays something like... Uh, he could go like Shadow Word, Death, and... Oh, he's going to Dennis it. Okay. That's all he's going to do. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Raging Morgan then. Shadow of Pain, yep. That's kind of making way for both the, uh, making way for the Shield Master. Um, we'll just armor up. It gives us more options for next turn. Nice, so next turn we can actually drop the Ogre. And start Ogre powering him. Get it? Ogre powering. <laughs> Such James. Right. Um, I think that's big enough to kill. Uh, whirlwind execute. That would leave us on three. We can then coin into a four. Cochranally. Do we even need to do that though? What now? It's only a two seven. 
Uh, actually, no, we don't need to Whirlwind. We can run the Corcoran Elite in because the Corcoran Elite would still have one health. And we save ourselves Whirlwind and the coin. So, just keeping. Just keeping playing a minion because priests eventually run out of steam when trying to just continue to kill like one minion each turn. Uh, they run out of shadow words and they run out of things basically. Tazdingo. Okay, so he has a Tazdingo. Does he have another Dennis? That's the question. actually thinking about maybe thinking power word shield maybe nope it's just gonna pass which is excellent for us because I'm thinking we play the stormwind champion this turn so we coin into stormwind champion and then run the 5-2 into the 3-5 the the and then that Corcoran Elite trades, well it's basically 2 for 2, but it's traded against a minion that costs 4 and a minion that costs 5, and I've used uh, a spell that costs 1 and a minion that costs 4, so I'm 4 mana up on that trade. So it's basically 2 for 1. I must consider... Behold the might of Stormwind! Okay, Stormwind versus Stormwind, interesting. Um, we can actually kill it this turn, but we'd be taking six. Well, let's slam it, see what we get, see what cards we pull. Earthen Ring. Hmm. I don't really want to whirlwind it for the sake of doing the extra damage. But I think I might, because it gets six damage on him. And it gives me a weapon. Takes me down to three, takes me down to two, and then we can armor up. I like controlling the board, and as a result, having minions left on the board is something that I, I think should be avoided. Not at all costs, but if at all possible. Um, Stormwind Champion's solid card. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Wow, he's gonna Dennis the Stormwind Champion. That is really interesting, actually. <laughs> um, because now all we're gonna do is we're gonna heal up and then, yeah. We're gonna heal up. Uh, and then what is it? it's turn nine. Hmm. Well, that's gonna get punched, and yeah, we'll play the ooze as well. Okay. So now we've got really solid board control, and he's still not in mind control territory. Um, and we've actually got 19 damage on the field for next turn. Um, Shadow of Death, fair enough. That's pretty much the biggest thing in my deck. And there's the other Shadow of Pain, so that should be most of his Shadow Words done. Um, he's also running out of cards a little bit. Um, let's get the Shield Block, see if there's anything better than Ogre. Uh, If he mind controls the ogre, that's fine because I have so much health. I can just Arcanite Reaper and punch it with the ooze. Um, and also, that's his whole turn done. No, no mind control. And this is the problem with priests. There are so many times where you just have turns which is heal pass, and like that, that's the whole turn. Um, so we've got nine. Um, I think we'll drop the Yeti. Yeti's a good solid card, can't get shadow worded. Uh, we'll drop the Reaper as well. I don't think he's running uses. He hasn't made any indication 
that he's running oozes. Uh, if he mind controls, that gives me 7 plus 5 is 12, so... We can do that next turn. Shy Cleric, Power Shield, Power Shield, Shadow Word Death, okay that's all the Shadow Word's done. Divine Spirit for doubling its health, okay so he's going for the Wombo, the 14 damage nonsense, okay. We can kill it. <laughs> I am. Um, yes. Do we drop the whole hand? Yeah, well, we'll drop the acolyte of pain. Uh, if he holy novas, then. Yeah. Um. Well, holy nova kills most things on this board anyway, so I'm just gonna kill that. With plenty of time. Uh. Yeah. It's burnt so many cards, the amount of value that I'm getting on that is insane. <laughs> Even if he Holy Nova's here, he kills no more minions than he would have anyway. Um, is someone injured? Okay, Northshire Cleric. And he's gonna heal himself and not get any cards as a result of it. That'll be GG, I think. 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, that's GG. Well and that's the problem with priests. So many turns they just have either pass or heal pass. That brings us up to rank 20. Almost rank 16 as well, that's awesome. So we've got our card backing. Whoop whoop. It's the sound of the police. Oh, I've just cut myself. Hmm, my nails are so sharp at the moment. But that's fine. Because I can scratch the eyes out of my opponents. Hmm, you're a match. Victory on death! I will crush you! Yay! <laughs> Oh, he has the awesome backing. That was the easiest win ever, and it gains 10 gold, which is awesome. I'll do one more, because that was hardly a third game. Are we rank 19 now? Or did we just get to the top of rank 20? We got to the top of rank 20. So, can we get to rank 19? That's the question. Another priest, awesome. Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Victory or death. Weapons really, really good to keep. Uh, we'll keep the use as well. Okay, so we have two, three, four. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. Yeah, two, three, four is nice, uh, and we have a five armor up as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Coin. Is someone injured? North Shire Cleric. In the light's name. Light Warden. Meh, yeah, okay. We can kill those. Uh, what do we want to kill more? Probably the North Shire Cleric. One thing that priests struggle with is card draw, so... To, to, to deny him his card draw early on is a real advantage. Playing Northshire Cleric is a problem. <laughs> it's 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 just a play that I actually don't like at all. Uh, yeah, so now we can, we can punch that and we can heal ourselves back up to four. Cool. Then next turn we can either play Senjin or we can play Yeti. Uh, that Lightwell could get really annoying if he uh, if he buffs it up. That gets buffed up. The light okay. protects me. 
and an Argent Squire. So it's like a this looks like some kind of rushdown type of deck. Looks f interesting. Uh, Whirlwind is actually pretty good here. Yeah, Whirlwind's pretty good here. We'll play the Swamp Ooze as well and we'll punch that. So that's now kind of a, well. It's two for two, but um, like the fast is still there. Turn five, probably just play the Shield Master. Um, he's going to power shield that. Okay. We need to be careful that that doesn't get out of hand. Uh, nothing to deal with it just yet. Ah, uh, the Spiteful Smith's actually quite nice here. It's got more health than the Yeti, it's more mana efficient. I know this is gonna heal, just gonna heal him, but uh, it, it would either heal him or it heal itself, so... <laughs> I think that's both his power word shield done. Uh, so, like, we should be able to kill it with these on the board next turn. If not, we can play Shield Master Armor up. Just start start the controlling properly. Okay, hold on. Meh. I'm perfectly happy with that if I pull a decent weapon, which I don't. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll play the Yeti here. Yeti's perfectly solid. Um, we'll do four damage to that because now it won't fully heal itself. Like, there's no point hitting him while he has his light well up. Um, and to be brutally honest, I'm perfectly happy just playing slow against a priest. Because I've already got rid of both his power word shields. I've already got rid of one of his Northshire clerics. I, I'm I'm really not too. I, I'm about to get rid of his light will that he's burned millions of cards on. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how this game's going at the moment. We can we can get some. We can just finish that off and then we'll play we'll play the Tustingo just to uh, make the board safe. And then we'll look to play the Stormwind Champion next turn, because we can combo that with the Execute if you sent out something big. Forget a weapon as well. Uh, that would be quite nice with that uh, Spiteful Smith. A Light Spawn. Yeah, so, like, that's really nice. <laughs> that's actually really nice, because we can kill both of those. Um, uh, Raging Wargan's pretty nice here as well, but... Uh, yeah, well, we'll just stay as it was. Um, that's going to kill whatever it hits, which is annoying. Um, what do we want to get rid of the most? What, what do we care the least about, basically? Um, okay, so this is going to hit this, because this has the most health. This is going to trade for that. Then this will trade for that, and we'll execute. No, uh, yeah, we will execute it. Stop him buffing it up too much. That leaves us with a super strong board. And, uh, yeah, we're in a good position. Still a couple of turns away from mind control. Shadow of Death should be coming in here, yeah. Still gives us 8 damage this turn, though. Uh, slam's quite nice to have as well. Um... We'll hold on to the Shield Master, because I don't know whether we're going to need that to want a bit later. Uh, there's no need to play it, because if he has another Holding Over... Uh, well, Holding Over doesn't actually hurt that much, but... Uh, I don't want to overextend. I don't want to be left with no minions in the hand and essentially top decking. I think I've I've got over there... I think I've managed to gain full control of this game now, and it's just a matter of time. Yeah, so uh, the Weapon Smith's a really nice play here. Because it gives us 4 2 weapon. Uh, do we hit him? Uh, say he mind controls this. 4, uh, uh, blah, 7, 10, 12. That's uh, okay because we can slam next turn. Um, Hang on, we've got four. Yeah, we can. We've pretty much killed him next turn. Uh, mind control won't do it. Do you need a blessing? Young priestess. Yep, 
fine with that. Temple Enforcer, that's fine too. Oh, is he going to taunt it up? No, he's just going to heal himself. Ah, that's well played. interesting. Well played. Slam. Ah, nice. Well, there it is. Rank 19. And a bit as well. Awesome. So, uh... That'll be it for today. For those of you that were interested in my deck, I can't even remember how I changed it. I might get some more cards as well. Um, I added an Acolyte of Pain. I What else did I do? I, took, I think I took out a Warsong Commander. Um, added a Shield Master. Took out a Reaper. Yeah, and it's pretty similar. Um, but now it's time to do some crafting. And the crafting that I will do, uh, I think two cr two cruel taskmasters is pretty vital. And any other common cards that I feel as though I need. Um, I think that I might go for another Harvest Golem. Harvest Golem's cool. Yeah, we'll make ourselves another Harvest Golem. We're, we have, in my opinion, a lack of really solid threes. Like, this Earthen Ring Fast here maybe could be... Uh, I, I don't know, we've got some decent threes. Maybe a better five. Because at the moment it's Arcanite Reaper, Gurubashi, and Spiteful Smith. So we can we can do better than that. Are these really the only fives available? What are all the fives? Can we get a rare five? Rare five, wow. Those are all the fives available. Are they really all the fives available? Wow, okay. Uh, well, we're not going to be getting any of them. In which case... Um, it's quite difficult. I, I don't know what to get. I'm just looking for good, solid, valuable cards, because I don't know what I'll be needing later on. Um, I haven't actually got a Frothing Berserker yet. So that's probably the next thing to get. Frothing Berserker's super strong, and we can have that. Uh, well, the Raging Wargon could be quite nice, but we'll... What's the worst three there? I think probably the Earthen Ring is probably the thing that we can get rid of. Um, it gives us health, which we don't, we shouldn't need. Uh, we've got another, another little blue one. So that gives us two rares now. Such pay to win! It's, it's crazy. But until next time, I will be away, and I shall. How about I start that sentence again? I will see you next time. <laughs>